Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome to a brand new walkthrough. This is for Duke Nukem 3D, the 20th anniversary world tour. And a lot of you people know that this game needs no introduction. And, well, first off, this game was released in 1996, in early 1996, by a company called 3D Realms, and it uses the build engine, which we have not seen before in any previous walkthroughs that I've done. And it was revolutionary. This game was not only fun, but very revolutionary. And when it was first released in 1996, early, it came with three episodes. L.A. Meltdown, Lunar Apocalypse, and Shrapnel City. It wasn't until late 1996 that a fourth episode was released in a package called The Atomic Edition. And that fourth episode is called The Birth. And then, 20 years later, in October of 2016, we have right here the 20th Anniversary World Tour where there's a fifth episode as well, made by the same people who made the original Duke Nukem 3D. And that fifth episode is called, uh, like Alien World Tour or something like that. I have never played that episode yet. And still, as I'm recording this, I have not played that fifth episode quite yet, but I will and I will do a walkthrough of it. So, let's, let's just get started. We have, um, as I said, five episodes, and we'll start with LA Meltdown, and there are also four difficulties. Um, the hardest difficulty is called Damn I'm Good. Now, I'm not that good, and I can't play Damn I'm Good. First off, the aliens respawn, and I don't like respawning monsters because I like to kill everything, and I want 100% of everything as well. So we will not do that difficulty. Instead, we will do the next hardest difficulty, which is come get some. So let's get started right now with Duke Nukem 3D Episode 1, Level 1, Hollywood Holocaust. Come get some. Damn, those aliens bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. And there goes Duke Nukem's ship. The aliens shot him off it while he was riding on it, and he was forced to land here on this rooftop right here. So, let's get some revenge for Duke Nukem, shall we? So, there are three things to do here on this rooftop. The first thing to do is to look out beyond the gate at the wonderful night scape of this city. And there is the Hollywood sign way over there as well. The second thing to do is to go behind this box and grab the pistol ammo. And the third thing to do. Now, this is the reason why Duke Nukem was so popular, and is still popular today. We could just shoot this fan out and proceed, right? Well... And that is the reason why Duke Nukem is so popular. You get to shoot things and blow things up and make them explode. And down here is the streets of Los Angeles, so let's go. And there is one of those aliens, the Assault Trooper. And there's an Assault Trooper in those windows right there. <laughs> and he fell out of the windows as well. That's awesome. Now on the streets of Los Angeles, the first thing to do is to look at this burning dumpster. Now eventually, and sometimes it takes some time. But eventually, 
an assault trooper will come out behind the dumpster. So that's what we're going to do because we don't want him to come up behind us later on. And there he comes. Yes, come to me. I'm going to kill you because you shot up Duke's ride. Just like that. <laughs> Okay, anyways, on the streets of Los Angeles, we also have Innocent with a red question mark. That is a reference to the O.J. Simpson trial, which I believe was taking place sometime at this time or a year earlier. So, was he innocent or was he not innocent? That was the question. Now, underneath the Innocent sign, we can jump up to a secret place and grab the RPG. Ooh. But we will use the RPG later on. Now from where the alien came out of the window, we can jump through the window to somebody's apartment building. And in this apartment building, we have a security monitor. Now security monitors, you can use them for to see future areas of the level and see if you've been there, see if you haven't been there. I mean, it's it's just generic stuff, and I won't be using the security monitors anymore from now on. I'm just showing you what they do and such. But anyways, we have Play Magazine. Wow. Indeed, wow. And also a calendar, which says December 2007. Well... The game takes place in 1996, so I don't know about that. And also, we have the blue magazine for Play Magazine. Wow! You know, I kind of like the, uh, the blue magazine and not the red one so much. I don't know. <laughs> now playing Attack of the Bleach Blonde Biker Bimbos Triple X. <laughs> well, now. Behind the poster, we have steroids. Now, about the steroids, I will explain what they do later on, but for right now, all you need to know is that they do serve a purpose. Now, out the window and on the ledge, and there is the burning dumpster from before. Grab the atomic health, and that trooper splattered as he hit the ground, which is always nice. And here, we have the Walk of Fame on the sidewalk. And as you approach the burning dumpster, a trooper will spawn out of it. So shoot him so he'll burn to death in the dumpster. And inside the dumpster, we have more pistol ammo. Now, in the darkened area over here is the exit to the movie theater. But this is a very dangerous route. And instead, we'll take a different route. What is this route? The front entrance of the cinema. Let's see what's playing. Million Dollar Attack of the Bleach Blonde Biker Bimbos now playing. Well, I'm sure that Duke Nukem would love to see this film, so let's go buy him a ticket, shall we? Excuse me, sir, I'd like a... Well... Absolutely, Duke. Absolutely. The RPG blew a hole in the ticket booth so you could go in, but be careful. There's a new enemy. As you can see, the captain will teleport. So make sure he dies quickly. Also in here is another new enemy of Duke Nukem 3D. The Pig Cop. And that's always fun to do, just to blow them up. And in here, we have the snack stand. Now, in the snack stand, it is very important that you first kill the trooper that is behind the cash register. And then, about that pick cop, use the... <laughs> use the RPG, and that will alert the two troopers that are on jetpacks in this room. So, just wait for them to land, and then just shoot them.
And now the snack stand is all clear. But there's one more enemy around the right corner. And he dropped a shotgun. How awesome is that? Okay, now playing Attack of the Bleach Blonde Biker Bimbos Triple X. But coming soon. Sister Act 3, Triple X. Now that's a movie that I'd like to go see, quite personally, but, you know, that's just me. Now over the snack stand, let's go get some snacks, which includes some pistol ammo, some small med kits, and some booze, but in this game, you can't drink booze, unfortunately. So we'll just blow it up. That's right, kids, don't drink booze. Now through this door, if you come in this door, it will open up the next door over here. Shoot the fire extinguisher, and you can kill the pig cop that way as well. Now in the snack stand area are two secret areas here. The first one is if you press the cash register and it will open up the wall on the right side. But how is Duke Nukem supposed to get up there? He can't just jump up there, can he? Well, look at the right side and then go all the way down and press the elevator. That's right, there's an elevator. Inside is some body armor. Now, the second secret area is near the arcade sign. That's right, there's an arcade where we can go play some video games later on. Wow, we'll do that. But first, the second secret, and that's above the trash can. See, the wall opened up, and inside, some pipe bombs. Now Duke is like an officially licensed bomber which is always a good thing. Okay, find the hallway that leads to the bathroom of the movie theater. And in the bathroom, we can kill three troopers. And also in the bathroom, in the right stall, we have... a trooper that was using the bathroom, the toilet. Now you notice that the trooper was choking on his own blood. When they do that, there is a chance that they will come back to life. And in that case, just one pistol bullet puts them back down. But it doesn't look like he's coming back to life, so I think we're all good. In the second stall, there's just a lone mouse. And also in this bathroom, behind the couch, we have some shotgun shells. And oh my goodness, who is that sexy thing? Damn, I'm looking good. Yeah, Duke, you are looking good. In fact, look at his bloody footprints. <laughs> he looks like the Terminator. Like he's just walking over all his enemies and butchering them, because that's exactly what he is. Now, also in this bathroom are these urinals. On top of the left urinal is a phone number. 8675309. I believe that's in reference to a Tommy Two Tone song called Jenny, where the phone number is repeated over and over again. Now, also in this bathroom, that's right, also again, there's lots to do here. In the right stall, on the bottom right, we see an email address Striker at metronet.com. Now this email address belonged to Alan Blum, who was a level designer for Duke Nukem 3D. But the email address, guys, is no longer working, so don't bother using it. <laughs> okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is jump up here and grab the portable med kit. If you are below 100% health, you can use this to boost you back up to 100% health. And in this vent, we see a crack in the corner. Okay, well, let's use some explosives on that crack. And that will open up 
a hole so you can grab the holoduke. Just be careful of the fire because, <laughs> you know, fire hurts. And up here, just shoot your way through. And oh my goodness, who is she? She's saying, kill me. And she's wrapped in this green, sticky ooze. Well, don't worry, babe, we'll rescue you. And to rescue her, we have to beat Duke Nukem 3D. So, let's beat the game to rescue all the babes in this game. So, have your pipe bombs ready, and toss one in, and blow, and basically blow everybody up. Now in this movie projector room is the red key card, so we'll grab that. Now about this glass, we will come to it later on, but for right now we have this door. Now what I do is I just plant a pipe bomb right there, and then jump on the movie projector. See you in hell. <laughs> just like that, that's always fun to do. And now about this screen. What we're going to do is try and kill all the enemies in the movie theater itself. But I guess they all moved. Now press the switch and we can now see the movie. And there's a crack on the screen. Well, let's go ahead and shoot the crack with an RPG. We will come to that hole in the screen later on. But for right now, what we're going to do is go down the stairs and into the movie theater itself. And to do that, let's head down the stairs, but with our night vision goggles on. Okay. And then when you cross over here, a earthquake will happen. And in this new hole, we have a large med kit. Now, back in the snack stand area, um, several enemies, my goodness, how many of you are going to choke to death? Well, we'll just wait to see if anybody pops up. You know what, actually the more I think about it, it down. <laughs> oh wow, that's always fun to do. That way they won't come back to life ever again. Okay, once I said, now the enemies will spawn here and they can sometimes be in this bathroom. Now there are two to three enemies that will spawn. Sometimes two, sometimes three. Now back in the snack stand, we're gonna come over here and go to the movie theater. Again? Wow, these guys love to choke. Anyways, we're going to sit here on these back seats, grab our popcorn, grab our booze, and just enjoy the movie, as it were. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? I'm glad. Now, if you walk on the front seats right here, a trooper will spawn, so we'll just take care of him like that. Now, in the hole in the screen, are two troopers, so take care of them. And on the movie stage itself, we can get some body armor, so grab that. Now through the exit doors... What? Oh, that's disappointing. The fire extinguisher didn't blow them up, but oh well. Through here, we will come through these doors on the other side, and you'll see how we do it. But for now, let's go through the hole in the screen and grab the jetpack. The jetpack comes in handy in this entire game. Now through this window, there's a pick cop down below and a pick cop on the bridge. Both will see you, so toss a pipe bomb outside. Or two pipe bombs. And 
Either one or both are dead. I hope both are dead. Now we'll go through those doors and through here. And both are dead. Well, that's awesome. And down here, do you recognize this area? Well, it leads back to the streets of Los Angeles again. So, back near the exit to the cinema, what we're going to do now is use the jetpack to go up to the bridge and try and kill the pig cop at the exit. There is the exit to this level, but we have some things to do. What we're going to do now is look at this door and then look to the left down below. Do you see that ledge down there? We're going to try to jump on it, or land on it rather. It's very tricky. Just inch your way around to the streets of Los Angeles to the cinema sign and then jump on the palm tree and then turn around and jump through the window well I guess not try again and into somebody's apartment room and we have the chain gun cannon Come get some. as well as other cool. goodies I love Duke Nukem's one-liners. They are so awesome. <laughs> and someone has been watching way too much television because we see that. That needs no explanation from me. We'll head back across the ledge and back to the bridge. But if you can't get on the bridge, because this is a very tiny ledge. Yeah, you see what I mean? Just use your jetpack to go back on the bridge. And again, face the door, and this time, turn right. Face the wall, and use your jetpack to go up as high as you can go. Because, at the very top, on the right corner, kill that mounted gun, as well as the mounted gun in that alcove. And in the alcove, we have a new jetpack. Let's fall back down. <laughs> Calm down, Duke. Calm down. <laughs> okay, anyways, now we're going to open up the door. Now, be careful. Do not cross this yellow line just yet. What we want to do is toss a pipe bomb on the right side and detonate it. Oh my God. And then for good measure, one more pipe bomb. Damn, I'm good. Okay, and that should kill both pig cops. Well, you didn't take any damage from those pipe bombs. How special are you? <laughs> now, I like to go at this backwards. When you walk backwards across the yellow line, a pig cop will spawn as well as an assault trooper with a jetpack. So make sure that they both die. And now we're going to go inside that door, where we see a hole. Just use the peekaboo shooting technique to kill him. And through that door is the red door, so we will come through on the other side, and you'll see how we do it. We'll grab the shotgun shells later on when we need them. But for right now, what we're going to do is fall off the bridge and come back out here to the streets. Oh, well, actually, you know what? No. Go through the exit and go back to the snack stand again. And in the snack stand, what we're going to do is go through the arcade now. Yes, we are ready to play some video games. Now on this elevator, what I like to do is lay a pipe bomb, actually lay two pipe bombs on the elevator. Now to throw two pipe bombs, what you want to do is select your pipe bombs, throw a pipe bomb, then select your pipe bombs again and throw it. And then raise the elevator up. And that may or may not kill everybody. And in this case, it did not. 
And so now we'll go up the elevator and into the arcade, but do not move. What you want to do is look for those explosives. And that will kill all the enemies in this room. And so now we can play some video games. But before we do, we're going to go around and look for any ammo that we might need. As well as admire the disco scene. And this is the Balls of Steel video game. And that guy is in the way. <laughs> I always love doing that. Anyway, the Balls of Steel video game is an actual 3D Realms game that they made before Duke Nukem 3D. But, over on the right side, we see Duke Nukem 2, a very popular original Duke Nukem game. And if we use it... Don't have time to play with myself. Don't have time to play with myself. No, Duke, you don't. <laughs> At least not right now. Uh, you can do so later on. But anyway, if we use it, we don't can get a holoduke. And anyway, that's it for the arcade area. Not much to see. Red key, and we are done, actually. This level is completely done, so let's go and finish it. Auto-destruct. And that was the first level of Duke Nukem 3D. And boy, what a level this was. It has its own theme. It's a movie theater. It's a cinema. And it sticks to that theme. There's nothing that does not make sense in this entire level. In fact, most Duke 3D levels, they all have their own theme, and it sticks with it, which I like in games. I like when they stay on topic with the games that they make, with the levels that they make. And this game has it. This game is all themed based. And this level is not tricky, as expected, because this is a first level. Um, basically, if you take the right route, and you find the RPG early, and the pipe bombs early enough, you will be able to get through this entire level without much difficulty. The only real tricky spots are the pig cops and the troopers on the jetpacks, and that's it. There's no real surprises, there's nothing really to get you all that lost. While it is a movie theater, you know where specific locations are, and are able to use those locations to find other parts of the theater where you need to go. And what? Well, what's going on here? <laughs> Well, Duke Nukem, <laughs> he says, enough, you dunce, let's just move on. Aye, aye, Duke, we will move on. <laughs> anyway, that was the first level. And what else is there to say? Well, Duke Nukem was right. Let's just move on. So, I'm Big Mac Davis, and thank you, everybody, for watching my first walkthrough video upon my return. I'm Big Mac Davis as usual, and I will see you all in the next video of Duke Nukem 3D. Take care, everybody.